Hi, I'm trainer Troy Smith, personal trainer for over 20 years and successful bodybuilder and coach. When it comes to exercising, all modalities can be good. Free weights, machines, kettlebells, but I strongly believe what's most important is how we use these tools, proper execution, or what I like to say, quality over quantity. That being said, I've noticed that there is a very helpful tool that's been missing in the fitness industry. If we look at what's been available for biceps and triceps training, we see tons of elaborate machines to isolate these muscles. That's great, but these expensive machines ranging from three to $6,000 are not practical for the 25.5 million people in the US alone who train at home. Secondly, despite the presence of these machines in full-fledged gyms, people still and always will opt to use free weight training exercises to train their arms, curls for biceps and lying tricep extensions, AKA skull crushers for the triceps. Now, there are tools available to help assist with the efficacy of biceps curling, the preacher curl bench and the arm blaster. But there is no tool to help with the efficacy of doing lying tricep extensions until now. And that is why I developed, invented, the layman bench. The layman does for the triceps what the preacher bench does for the biceps and more. It positions the upper arm in the desired position and fixates the location of the elbow throughout the whole movement. These two things allow constant tension to be maintained in the muscle the entire movement. Plus, it frees any spotter to solely focus on providing finesse spotting and assistance instead of trying to keep the person's upper arms in the proper position. And the layman bench can also double as a preacher curling platform within the same footprint area. I have IP protection for the bench with a provisional patent as well as designs on how to make it out of steel and have the armrest platform adjustable for both height and angle. I've gotten excellent feedback from my clients thus far, including, man, gosh, I wish Anytime Fitness had one of these puppies. So I'm excited to start doing some trials in local gyms and universities to get feedback as I keep making new prototypes out of metal. As of 2016, there were 36,500 or more gyms in the U.S. alone, 25.5 million in-home gym participants. Most gyms that have strength training equipment, they have a preacher curl bench. Why wouldn't they want to have a layman bench for the triceps and that could double as a preacher curl bench? So when you choose me as a finalist, I'll share all the ways that I plan to get this thing known and bring it to the mainstream gym market. And also why naming it the layman bench pays homage to bodybuilding fitness industry and the physical culture. Thank you. That's why, because Troy Smith is next week. There you go. And that's what I'm going to tell you about now. If you have a question such as, is it better to do less reps with more weights or more reps with less weight? Troy Smith, sorry, Justin, an independent personal trainer could have your answer. Troy guides and teaches people how to improve their physical well-being. And we'll discuss constant tension training. It's not easy to say. And high energy enthusiasm. That's next week. Again, thank you to Coffee Cabin. And we're thinking about Nana with NanaSweetsBakery.com. A little bit under the weather. Hopefully back with us soon. Every Wednesday, 9.15 at 10 o'clock here in the CMAC building. 7150 Indianapolis Boulevard. I'm your host, Sam Michael. We'll see you next week.